<laughs> Hello ghouls, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reading a creepypasta. This creepypasta is called Why I Won't Go to Mockingbird Park. There's a reason I won't go to Mockingbird Park. Not just because it's creepy. Not just because it's dark. There are twisty twined trees. There are weeds and neglect. But worse than all that is the mocking effect. As you walk the park paths, you'll hear a faint echo. Footfalls, your own, in that dim and grim ghetto. Coming closer and closer, as if someone's there. You whirl and see no one, just fog on the air. So you whistle, it whistles. You cough, and it coughs. Then, from murky mist, a gray shadow breaks off. It's your height and your size, and your very same shape. And then it's upon you, no time to escape. You suck in cold air, and then poof, it moves through you. You laugh at yourself. A shadow can't chew you. But you turn and see someone who's walking away. This person, your double, you glimpse with dismay. They continue their strolling on down the park trail while you melt into mist, a fog of gray veil. And that's why I won't go back to Mockingbird Park. I like being you. I hope you like the dark. So that is why I won't go to Mockingbird Park. Um, submitted by Toxic Lullaby, but I do believe that the original author is I Post at Midnight. And I will leave a link to this creepy pasta down below if you would like to read it for yourself. I loved this creepy pasta. It is very creepy. Um, I know it was kind of short, but I just loved it so much that I really wanted to to read it for you guys and to draw something um, based onto it. So a little bit about the piece. I when I was reading this, I, it just reminded me so much of the movie Coraline. And you know, I've always wanted to draw Coraline. So I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone and draw Coraline um, and kind of tie it into this creepy pasta. So I drew Coraline um, with a shadow being behind her and it's kind of morphing into her. They have the same hair almost, except for that the monsters is very, very creepy. Um, but I really love the way that this came out. Originally, I tried to do the colors on my own with the color wheel, but I decided to go ahead and just color pick from a picture of Coraline that I got off the internet, and this was just so that it was kind of looking a little bit wonky, so with the original colors, I knew it would look a lot better. Um, and it did definitely, it really brought out this kind of whimsical effect, and I really, really loved it. I also only used the acrylic brush that comes with Metabang Paint Pro because I wanted it to have a more painterly feel. I also really loved the creepy pasta poem and it kind of inspired me to write my own creepy pasta poem. So let me know down below if you guys would like for me to read it on my channel and I'll even illustrate to that creepy pasta poem. I have a couple of ideas in mind. So, staying true to the creepy pasta poem, I decided to make the being behind Coraline very smoky, very um, just shadowy. I didn't really want it to have, I mean, it does have a figure, but the skin tone is very, very smoky, which I love. I originally had contemplated even coloring this in Krita, just because Krita has way more better brushes um, than Metabang, but I decided to just go ahead and try to use the acrylic brush the whole time, and I really like the way that it came out. For the background, I wanted to do some vined 
trees, some twisty twined trees, as the poem suggested. Um, and while I was imagining it, I just got this really purple feel. Uh, for some reason, Coraline just gives me a purple vibe. So I decided to make the background various shades of purple. I also thought about just leaving the outside of the oval black. Um, but then I decided that I wanted to take it one step further into the Coraline world and try to mimic the portal to the other world. All in all, I'm very pleased with the way that it came out. I love it so much and I'm really glad that I decided to draw Coraline. The finishing touch is a couple of flowers around the border to symbolize the Coraline face garden, um, which I really, really love and it was really beautiful. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this piece and as always, if there is any creepy pasta that you'd like me to read and or illustrate, then just leave a link down below and I'll check it out. Thank you ghouls so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.